Hello and welcome all. My name is Anita Vasidens. I am one of the cast coordinators for the IB Diploma Program. The other cast coordinator is Mrs. Erin Burke. Now, the purpose of this video is to share the requirements for CAS, specifically as related to the diploma program. Now, the CAS strands are creativity, activity, and service. These are the same strands that were used in the middle years program. CAS is designed to strengthen and extend personal and interpersonal learning. In other words, we're looking for students to be well-rounded individuals and to have experiences that extend beyond the classroom. CAS is required for the award of the IB Diploma, just like the Extended Essay and the TOK class. At City, students complete eight to 10 hours per month. Now, there must be a reasonable balance among the three strands by the end of their senior year. And students will also design and implement a CAS project, which I will discuss later in this presentation. In order to demonstrate that students have met the requirements for the IB Diploma Program, they must meet seven learning outcomes, and they are as follows. One, they need to identify their own strengths and develop areas for growth. Demonstrate that challenges have been undertaken, developing new skills in the process. Demonstrate how to initiate and plan a CAST experience. Show commitment to and perseverance in CAST experiences, and those previous two can be met through their CAST project. Demonstrate the skills and recognize the benefits of working collaboratively. Demonstrate engagement with issues of global significance and recognize and consider the ethics and choices of others. So as students are, are engaging in CAST experiences, they're going to be reflecting upon them and looking at these seven different learner outcomes and reflecting how do they meet them. There are more detailed descriptors of these learning outcomes to help students located at chmsiv.com. Now, students will keep evidence of their CAST experiences in a digital portfolio, which they will keep in their Google Drive. And we will help set them up, set up this portfolio at the beginning of their junior year. Now in there, there's gonna be a collection of evidence of their engagement with CAS, and that evidence will include, include their profile sheet. Now the profile sheet is something that they will fill out in the beginning of their junior year. And essentially it's a document that will state their short-term and their long-term goals for CAS. In it, they will also have their CAS hour forms, their monthly reflections, with a, which relate specifically to the learning outcomes, the CAS project, which will also address some of the learning outcomes and their artifacts. Now to keep students accountable to CAS and to help with communication of requirements, at the beginning of their junior year, we will share a CAS presentation. And in this presentation, we will outline all the requirements. Um, we will discuss the portfolio and we will discuss the monthly hours and the reflections and how they go about turning them in. CAS hours are due the first of each month. As stated before, for the diploma program, students are required to do eight to 10 hours per month. So for example, October hours are gonna be due November 1st. There is a document, there's a form at chmsiv.com. It is a Google form and students will use this to turn in their hours. And then students will also write a monthly CAS reflection that are tied to those learning outcomes. And those reflections will be kept in the CAS portfolio. We have provided a, a template for them and this template will keep all of the reflections together in one document. Eighth hour teachers will then enter grades monthly for the CAS hours and the reflections. So in other words, they will have two grades every month one for their hours and the other one for the completion of their reflections. Now, as stated before, students must complete a CAS project. This is in their CAS hours or the project can count towards their CAS hours. Now, the project is, is meant to be a deliberately planned CAS experience. It's not something that happens in the moment, but something that is well thought out. So students are, must complete at least one CAS project during the diploma program. And the project must last at least one month, and that includes um, the design and the implementation. Students will use the CAS straight stages, which are the investigation, preparation, action, reflection, and demonstration as a framework. 
Now, detailed descriptions of each of these five stages are also provided for students. The project must be student initiated and student led. Students can work alone or in groups, and the project can address any single strand of CAS or combine two or all three strands. Now, here are some projects that were done by city students in the past. And we recognize that some of these may not be an option for our current situation, but hopefully this list will provide a little bit of a, a little bit of direction and provide some ideas of things that could be done for a CAS project. This project must be completed by the end of their senior year, so they have time to consider some different options. They are also welcome to discuss these with their CAS coordinators. In fact, they're encouraged to do so, and we can help them through this process. CAS artifacts must be kept throughout their CAS experiences. So basically, they're just kind of documenting some of the things that they have done throughout CAS through their experiences, and they're going to put these artifacts in their portfolio. So students will need to have at least three arti artifacts from their CAS experiences and to include one artifact to represent each of the three strands. So one for creativity, one for activity, and one for service. And the artifacts can, can include things such as pictures showing engagement in CAS experiences. It could be a video or audio, audio recording. Um, it can be things that were produced as a result of a CAS experience or things that were given to them, such as medals, awards, or certificates as a result of the CAS experience. CAS interviews will be conducted throughout the two years of their diploma program. CAS coordinators will meet with students alone or in small groups during the diploma program. And the coordinators will share the requirements, answer any questions related to CAS, and check students' progress with CAS engagement. An exit interview at the end of the senior year prior to IB exams will be conducted. During this interview, students will share their CAS portfolios and coordinators will verify that the IB CAS requirements have been met. And this is also a chance for us to celebrate some of the achievements, some of the accomplishments, and some of the things that students had learned throughout their CAS experience. So overall, it's meant to be a positive experience for students. I hope that you found this video informative. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit our website for resources, um, chmsib.com. And on that website, if you go to the Diploma Program tab, the, the Diploma Pro Program CAS tab, you will find the following resources. This is where students are going to find all the forms that they need, including the handbook, the forms for turning in the hours, the profile sheet, their project form, the portfolio inventory sheet, which contains a doc, which is a document which contains everything that needs to be within their portfolio, the reflection tab template, the learning outcomes and the descriptors, and a copy of the presentation shared with students. If you have any other further questions, please feel free to reach out to the coordinators, myself or Mrs. Burke, or to our IB coordinator, Mr. Antima. Thank you.